the song. Anyway, finding the love of your life isn't easy. Imagine being in the animal kingdom. I mean, but there is a team of matchmakers in the primate world playing Cupid for endangered species. Holly Thompson is one of those Cupids and she joins us live all the way from Perth Zoo. Good morning, Holly. Hi, Holly. Um, what a job you have. What is involved in Good being morning. a love doctor for primates? I've never had doctor in my title, so very thank you very much for that and good morning. Uh, a lot is involved, but a lot of a lot of passion um, and a dedication to these species that are behind me and hopefully will come into shot soon. What is your success rate? Because I mean, look, it's not like you can just play some Barry White and throw some oysters in there and, and they're good to go. What what is your success rate here? <laughs> I, I have a pretty good success rate, so uh, about 100%, but that, oh. that's matchmaking them, but then it's then, it's then up to them to, to make uh, that, that success a reality. I must say <laughs> that it doesn't always work out, and so we do have to be resourceful. Uh, and so an example is the Jarvan Gibbons here at Perth Zoo. We actually brought Omar in here to be a retiree couple, and uh, the mate actually passed away. So he ended up pairing with young Sunda here, and having another baby, so that was really exciting. Oh, wow, you're wow. never too old. It's amazing. Um, can any of these matchmaking skills be applied to humans? And by humans, I mean married at first sight contestants. <laughs> 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 well, I was going to say there's apps and there's television shows for that, but look, we probably use quite similar. We use a, like an online um, dating system, I guess, and that's to be able to match make males and females together. Uh, but I guess uh, we'll, we'll have to see how those married at first sight people go. <laughs> how do you know when these monkeys at first sight contestants, uh, when you know they're going to like get on with the monkey business? How, how do you know when it's about to get down? <laughs> So some uh, some of these primate species will sing a beautiful duet, so they actually oh, yeah. sing together. So that's Holy a really good world. indicator for us that they're going to be little love makers. Uh, but also, it does just come down to uh, being able to match them appropriately uh, socially, and and also uh, they do need love. So they do need to love each other, and I think that's why I love I love gibbons. So gibbons are a small ape, and they're generally monogamous, so they pair for life. Oh, right. that's so sweet. Okay, we're going to need you to film the duet at some stage when Endless that love. next happens, because we need to see that exactly. Um, so which primates are a priority for you right now in terms of extinction? Uh, look, they, they all are, uh, but I, th I think what it is is that they, there's so many that are critically endangered and many that we have at Perth Zoo, but we can get really overwhelmed with that extinction crisis at the moment. So I think it's all about uh, picking those uh, responsible tourism activities that we can do. So when we go to other countries, not having photos taken with primates uh, and knowing where we are purchasing uh, timber products, because a lot of it comes down to that ecosystem level. And by helping primates, we're helping so many other species. Are oh, you just doing? I mean, I know we're laughing about it as well because you know it's, it's a funny work. topic. But you're doing such incredible work, Holly. Thank you so much. Thanks, Holly. Hey there, today fans, Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?